Okay, we went from this to this, trying out Ivy's new faux bald cap method. Hey babe, it's the girl Zara Bay, and I'm back with another video and today is going to be a hair video and I'm going to be trying out a new method on how to apply my lace front wig. So I saw Ivy do the no bald cap method to um, um, to put on her wig. I know a lot of us, we put on the, um, the wig cap and we do the whole bald cap method and that can be really time costly. Time costly, that makes sense? Or Consuming. Time consuming, thanks mom. <laughs> um, time consuming and um, I wanted to try it out. I saw her do it I'm like okay cool, Like I want to see if it really really works. And that's why I want to bring to you guys um, how I do this, ball, this no ball cap method that I saw on Ivy's channel. So if you want to see hers, her version, I'll put the link below in my description um, box. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's see if this works. I'm excited. Don't know how I feel about putting makeup in my hair, but we're we're gonna see. Okay, so first off, we need to put some gel. I'm gonna use some got to be glue gel, and you want to uh, put it all in the front of your hair. Pretty much what you would normally do when you um, start off the ball cap method, you always want to put, you always want to gel your hair back. So I'm just gonna take some got to be glue. I actually like the white one a little bit better because I feel like it. It's a little bit more stronger than the clear one. If that's just, I don't know. I always, I don't know, I find it. It's a little bit more stronger. Um, so I'm just going to, I feel like it's more stickier. So I'm just, see, I'm just here just using my fingers and just bringing it back and whatnot. So here, really. This is probably the only gel that works for my very, very 4C hair. My hair is extremely 4C. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it's like 4Z and it's weird. It's like um, the curls are a lot looser in the back than it is the front. So the front's a like really like 4Z and I feel like the back is like 4C with a little bit of 4B action like randomly. So I'm just bring this back here. Joe. So I'm just putting the gel on first and then I'm gonna go back and brush it. Brush it with the brush. Like I said, this glue's like this gel's really sticky, so that's what I'm doing. And I always found this glue with this gel, I keep saying glue, but with this gel, I always feel like once it like sits a little bit, I like to brush it a little bit more, and I feel like that's when it really like sticks down my hair perfectly. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, see, my hands is just grabbing every little piece of hair right now. Oh God, okay. Take my hair, baby hair brush and I'm just gonna really focus on brushing this hair back. And y'all you know, know where to get these baby hair brushes from your local beauty supply store. Okay. And then I'm just take my wig cap, I'm gonna put it over like this, and I'm just gonna push it back on top of my hair. That way it kind of flattens out everything. Yeah, that way it kind of flattens out everything. And then I'm gonna take a blow dryer, and I'm just gonna lightly blow dry on top of this just so it hardens. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put one more layer on top of my hair. Just one more layer. My main thing is I wonder how it is gonna. I wonder how it's gonna be to take off all this makeup in my hair. But I will do it after, like when I take off the wig, and I'll explain to you guys like how I do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but when we get to that step, I'll show you guys, or I'll figure out a good way to do it. That way I can, you know, help y'all out. Cause I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just put the second layer of gel and let it dry. So my hair is all ready for the next step. So I'm going to go in with um, my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage um, Foundation Powder. I'm using the color 355 Coconut. 
I actually do wear that color or I wear a shade under that. But the powder is lighter than the actual like liquid foundation. Um, just the fit me that I have. So I'm just gonna start patting the powder into my hair. Like so. Okay, this is very interesting. It actually is like creating that like bald cap look effect. So I'm also gonna put it on my bald cap. I usually have a brown one, but I don't know where my brown one is, so it might look a little cray cray under my wig just a little bit. Um just I just don't know where my brown one is at the moment. So I gotta go find that. But yeah. Okay. So the reason why she said to put the um, the gel down first, it kind of like um, freezes your hair in place and like slicks it back, giving a nice base for the makeup to adhere to. And I'm using a very dense brush to apply this. I would probably do powder, not liquid. I think liquid will get really messy. So I think powder is ideal. But it's definitely giving me ball cap. <laughs> That's for sure. I feel like it would look a lot better if I had my brown ball cap. I'm just gonna put a bit of foundation on top of here too. I could have definitely slicked my hair a lot better. But you know, having 4C hair <laughs> and my hair is already in braids is the best that I could do. It probably could have done a better job, but um, I think it's still gonna look just as good under the wig. I'm just gonna take a bit of makeup remover, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of clean the edges because I don't want the makeup to mix with the gel or the got to be because you know it makes that gross, crusty color. You guys know what I mean? So I'm just gonna slightly just wipe around the perimeter. Okay, so this is my wig. It's very, I styled it in a 80s, 90s kind of style with the bangs and the flip over. So I already styled it last night because I just wanted to pop it on my head. Um, I also used, um, I got this really cool, um, lace tint i got it from nor by norel this is her skin blend lace tint i got it in two colors i got it in a latte and i can't remember the other color that i got but i got actually wait i think i remember i got it in um latte and toffee latte and toffee these sprays and it tinted my lace really well so yeah actually so my first time really trying out this lace tint and whatnot so we're gonna pop this wig on my head oh, okay it's not looking bad actually so this is how it looks like on my head this wig fits really really great actually this was a glueless wig, but um, I took out the elastic bands in it because it was a little too tight, so I have to refix it. But this looks really good. It looks really, really good. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited, okay. Okay, so now it's time to put the wig on. Oh, the wig's on, glue the wig down. It's so weird, like, it is like a bald cap. And what I like about this so far, than like the stocking bald cap, I like the fact that you don't have that like line that you have to focus on getting really, really flat, you know? You know you, need, you have to cut it and then you have to sometimes like put a layer of glue around it. You kind of don't have to do that step. And this was a lot faster than doing this, the, the method, the stocking cap method. And just a FYI, I'm not putting the wig directly onto my hairline. I do got a big forehead. So just to let you know. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. I took all of my 
stuff I'm not missing. Funny enough, I'm actually not gonna glue down the center part because my bangs cover it. So I'm just gonna focus on the sides. I feel like this method will also be really good for girls who have like small foreheads. like I can be in the like 80s 90s right now with this hair I love it um, so I'm gonna just do some little bit of like slight like baby hair swoops I feel like I could be like Lisa Turtle from Saved by the Bell <laughs> I really do like this hairstyle I think it's really cute Okay, well, first of all, this method took me, let me see how, whoop, <laughs> this is 13 minutes. I'm seeing how long it took me to film all of this. So this took me about a half an hour to do the ball cap method, the no ball cap method, um, or faux ball cap method, I think that's what Ivy calls it. Um, honestly, I do like it. It looks really nice, and you would think because you have makeup on your hair that when it's time to put the glue on, it'll make it really messy, but um, wiping off the excess like makeup with the makeup wipe, I definitely feel like it helped a lot. It like adhered really nicely um, to my head. Like I think it looks pretty good for the most part. Like I, I think it looks really, really good. Like, cause normally um, with the ball cap, um, normally I don't like doing the ball cap method unless I'm like going somewhere. And because we are in lockdown, um, there's really nowhere for me to go. So I always hate doing the ball cap method for my wigs to look flawless, even though I should. I just usually just put the ball, um, the wig cap on and call it a day. But this is a method that I think I can get used to. Um, because I always like to um, wash my, do like a light wash on my braids. You know, once a week I, I fully wash it, but I always have to wet it when I'm like taking a shower and stuff like that. So I'm going to finish off my makeup. I have to do a uh, Saved by the Bell kind of themed video. Um, and I'm doing like a Mitchell inspired makeup look. Um, so I'll come back and just, you know, sh tell you guys my final deets about it. And then um, when I wash it off tonight, I'm going to tell you guys how it how it was to take it off was it a hassle anything like that but i like it i think it looks i i like i like the method i like the method so um i think it's a method i'll definitely be doing a lot because it's a lot easier and it definitely achieved what i wanted to achieve so i'm excited to try this method with my other wigs and some of that because i do have a lot more wigs so i'm excited to see how this method works out with other wig styles that i have so i'm gonna go finish up my makeup and i will be back just to like chit chat i don't want this video to be too too long so yeah <laughs> Okay, hey babes, so um, I just did like this really fun, like, fun, bold look. <laughs> I probably look really clowny right now. Um, I think it's because of the blush, like it's definitely the blush, it's definitely the blush. But I did like a 80s look, um, this is a Mitchell inspired look, but I kind of made it feel a little bit more 80s, you know? Um, because of the hairstyle and everything, very safe by the bell, but I still gotta have my long ghetto girl claws. But yeah, um, so far I really do love this method. Um, this method was really great actually. And yes, I only have one hand that doesn't have nails on. <laughs> but I really do love this method. I think you guys should definitely try it out. It's super quick and easy to do. Um, I had no mess, no problems. I did all of this within 
within within <laughs> within 30 minutes and it was really easy to do so yeah thank you so much ivy for sharing your new method i can't wait to do this with more of my wigs it's so much more easier now i'm going to take this off and i'm going to try to see how i can get this foundation out of my hair and i will insert a clip of me just talking about taking it out but yes Hey babe, so I worked out after this video and I pretty much sweated out all the foundation in my hair. And I did it another time and I washed it out perfectly fine, nothing happened to my hair. Um, if you are in a very hot climate and you sweat a lot, I may not recommend this because you may have like foundation like streaming down your face and yeah. But pretty much that's it. One more thing, um, I just want you to know that I didn't lose any hair, no edges when removing this wig safely and properly. Thank you so much my beautiful bays, for watching this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It's your girl Zay Bay, Bay and mwah, bye.